oil is a thick, dark brown liquid found deep in the Earth's crust. It's a mixture of different hydrocarbons, molecules made of hydrogen and carbon. Some molecules in the mixture are very small, just a few atoms joined together. Others are far more complex, with many atoms forming long chain molecules. But as a mixture, it's useless. The different hydrocarbons need separating. The technique used is distillation. This simple apparatus is set up in a fume cupboard. Mineral wool stops the mixture spitting when it's heated. Crude oil is dropped into the bottom of the tube. A collecting bottle is put in place. And a thermometer, level with the sidearm, monitors temperature. The final step is to gently heat the mixture by immersing the tube in a hot water bath. The hydrocarbons with lower boiling points begin to vaporise immediately. They're flammable, so it's safer not to heat with a naked flame. As the vapour rises, it enters the sidearm, where it cools and condenses. This happens at about 40 Celsius. The hydrocarbons which boil at this temperature drip down the sidearm and form our first fraction. It's a colourless liquid. The temperature stays at around 40 until all the hydrocarbons with this boiling point have vaporised. The hydrocarbons left behind aren't hot enough to vaporise. Their boiling points must be higher. Once the first fraction has been collected, it's safe to start heating with a Bunsen. As the temperature rises, other hydrocarbons begin to boil. A new fraction is collected at about 60 Celsius. It's slightly yellow in colour. And so the process continues. By carefully heating the oil and collecting the liquids which condense at a number of different temperatures, the many different hydrocarbons in crude oil can be separated. This is known as fractional distillation. On a larger scale, a fractionating column is used. The oil is heated with an electric heater for safety. The vapour is condensed by a Liebig condenser and is collected in a conical flask. Hot vapour rises up the fractionating column. It's a long way to go and the further from the heat source, the cooler it gets. Most of the vapour condenses on the glass spiral inside the column and drips back into the mixture. Only the hydrocarbons, which are still vapours at the very top of the column, enter the sidearm and condense to liquid. Industry uses the same process, but on a mammoth scale, in huge fractional distillation columns. The hot oil enters near the bottom, at a temperature of 330 degrees Celsius. The column becomes cooler towards the top. Fractions which remain as vapour at 85 degrees Celsius go straight to the top and are piped away. Different hydrocarbons condense at different temperatures, running off at various levels. Those with lower boiling points are collected at the top. Those with higher boiling points run off nearer the bottom. The longer the molecules, the higher the boiling point. Industrial distillation separates crude oil into useful fractions, each containing molecules of a similar size. 